I'm in a mother system. Look it up again. Don't throw my at me. Can I talk to somebody else? You're talking to the person. I'm not talking no. to somebody you else. Can't. You have to talk because your ass back there behind that mother window. Don't throw my What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of sassy customers on Hardcore Pawn. Num number two, no ticket. This woman comes straight up to the window to get her ring out, but guess what? She has no ticket whatsoever. So, what really is she doing here? You have your ticket with you? Um, no, I don't have my ticket. They didn't give me one. Uh, I'm sure they would have. Well, I don't have it. Yep, you are not in the system. It's, it got to it got to be here. I don't know what to tell you. I got to be in the system. Can how you, you doing? please look? So you came here about how long ago? I came here two months ago. And we gave you how much on it? It was like it was three thousand dollars. Yeah. The moment she said that, I just knew she never came here at all because no pawned ring is actually paid this much for. I'm in a mother system. Look it up again. Don't throw my at me. Can I talk to somebody else? You're talking to the person. I'm not talking no, to somebody you else. Can't. You have to talk because your ass back there behind that mother window. Don't throw my. It's about to go down, everyone. We just love to see Seth walking out to scold this stupid ass woman like that. Good luck. I want my ring! Get me my ring! I want my ring! She likes that pole. I want my ring! I'm working on the pole! Have a good day. I want my ring! Bitch. Yeah, this did not work out at all, honey. Your non-existent ring is definitely not in this store, and I hate to break it to you, but all that shit is based on delusion. Number three, Olive Spitter. This woman walks in wanting to see what she can get from her watch, but here's the catch. The watch is not really watching, and the woman is not really womaning. So, check it out. Is it even running? It was when I left home. It's nowhere near seven o'clock right now. Okay, but didn't you just turn it to seven o'clock? No, I didn't just turn it to seven o'clock. Okay, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm really not interested in them. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm -hmm. See how it's not working in the front? I see that. You see how it's scratched on the crystal? I mean, but what's the real point? So you're saying you can do nothing with the watch? It's just nothing that I can be able to help you with. This woman really isn't understanding shit, is she? Girl, your watch isn't even working. The whole idea of a watch is seeing the time. If you can't, so what is the value now? Yes, I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job, then you need to do something with that. I'm no. not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you do? What, what, what are those? Olives. Why do you want them? I don't want any. No. But she starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. Do I go to her house and start spitting my food on her floor? No, you don't, Seth. Because you have manners, which is something she most obviously lacks. Does she really want Seth to go drop her home? It's not his fault you decided to come here with no money. You thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Can't touch me. Get your banana shirt and have an ass off me. Oh, you. Get off me. I told that bitch. I need gas to get home. Give me that. You old stinking ass dirty bastard. Thank you. I don't want you as a customer. All you do is run your mouth. Promise me you'll never come back. Great. This woman should have been out in the first place. I mean, she really came in and made a scene, resulting in her own freaking humiliation. She's as stupid as it gets. Number four, jewelry sale. A woman wants to pawn some jewelry, but it gets so surprising seeing where the hell this jewelry was coming from. I mean, how can you be that stupid? I don't know. I was coming here today because I was trying to uh, pawn some jewelry. Okay. You got like some pliers or something? Pliers? Yeah, I need to get this off. You know what, that's all right, I got it. So I was wondering if I could find this. I was trying to get like $100 for it. Okay. Before we actually get into it, this woman obviously has a couple of cells missing in that big head of hers. Does she actually want to pawn this? I wouldn't buy it. No, actually, it's real silver. I'm trying to get $100 for this. I mean, if you're gonna give it to me or what? Or can I talk to somebody else? No, you can talk to me. Because I see you trying to be funny. I'm not laughing. Are you laughing? You were just laugh. Now you're making the ugly face. It ain't, it ain't Halloween no more. Oh, okay. It really ain't Halloween. You're right for saying that. But why the hell do you actually look this stupid and creepy? That's a creepy clown face right there. So... You're pissing me off. You this close to getting your ass whooped. Really? Yeah. You're this close don't to touch getting don't, your don't touch ass me. kicked don't touch out of my me. store. Don't touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. Stop, you ain't gotta touch me. Bye. The hair got that Ebola too, huh? That's that Ebola weave, ain't it? Don't worry about it. God forbid, even if your lips were spotless, nobody would merely take it and sell it at once. It's abhorrent. However, menacing Ashley, your lesson was learned. Number five, royal treatment. This English woman enters the room believing she is unquestionably the queen of England. Tell her, please, that this will never happen again. Check this out, please. Sorry, lady. My name is Ashley. Okay, Ashley, lady, how much? 400. Come on, how much? $400. I've come into your store to buy a coat. I ain't come in this store for you to rip me off. I'm not ripping you off. Those are actually just reduced to $400. But the price does not suit. How much for the coat? Do you not understand? Do you not understand? 
No, she doesn't seem like she understands at all. This woman really seems like she thinks the world revolves around her. Well, it doesn't, and the coat is 400. Would you like to smell? No, I typically don't it's go around It's gonna cost me a lot coats. of money to get this coat clean. Do you mind? My exchange rate is absolutely incredibly high. Sorry about that. A British lady here, you know. How much for the coat? I could go 350 for you today if that will help you out. Shove it. Shove it, shove it, she will undoubtedly be pushed into the parking lot. Sadly, I believe that due to her advanced age, she definitely has some sort of cognitive dysfunction. Why don't I show her the door? We're not looking at this big guy, we're looking at you. You're gonna make me? You will. I don't think so. Nice to meet you, how you doing? Pleasure. Have I don't day. think so. Have a good day, miss. Have a good day. I'm not interested in your $200. Goodbye, lady! Goodbye, lady! There you go, that's the royal treatment. Good one, Byron. She really ought to greet the queen. However, she wouldn't travel the world appearing to be one if she could genuinely do it. That's all about the need for authority. Number six, swinging woman. To pawn her ring, this woman enters the room. Rent is something she needs to pay. Truly, she appears suspicious, and I feel horrible for her. Just check this out. I was coming to pawn my ring because I have to pay my rent. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? How do I know? So all you have to do is look at the holes in the back and know that it's real. And what does that diamond. mean? That is real. Yeah, how much did you want, man? Two hundred dollars. Well, what I can do is I can give you eight. Eighty dollars. This woman has a gut feeling that it's not even a genuine diamond. She wouldn't even wait for him to finish testing it because of this. The girl is really anxious. You want to pawn it or you don't? Yeah, I want to pawn it. But I'm saying you gonna give me two hundred dollars though. That's the only way I'm gonna pawn it. So you gonna give me two hundred dollars or not? Not. I just hope Leslie declines, since she seems like she would truly destroy this town. And to be honest, I would prefer it if she did. Therefore, she is going to be humiliated. How would you like Ma'am. Ma'am, what the Thank you. This woman not keep control of herself. I don't know what the hell her problem was. I don't give a what her problem was. I don't accept that kind of behavior. She's lucky my security staff didn't beat her ass. Did she really go after Leslie, the voice of this one person, the sound bite? I'm glad she got booted out because I would have had to come down and discipline her. Number seven, pawning boob. This woman attempted to pawn her jewelry as she strutted into the room. However, it appears that this ring's diamonds are a unique brand. Travaski sounds expensive. Travaski? Yes, Travaski. Uh, my grandmother gave me that ring before she passed away and she told me that they were Travaski crystals. I don't know what that what so. If they were, they won't be setting anything fake. I really like how Seth told her that this was all false and disregarded whatever the heck she was making up instead of continuing the conversation, since it is. Do you not understand English? Do you not understand English? I understand English. Do you English. not understand the word Trubosky crystal? No, I don't. I just told you that my grandmother said that these are Trubosky crystal. So what the f are you talking about? Yeah, but you're not getting I have something that's real. Really? These right here, these, they're real. They're real, can I get some money for those? Are you gonna give me some money for something? Why the hell did you even pull out your boob like that? Who said we even wanted this shit? We literally do not want to witness that shit at all. And all this ugly bone popping to my face, man. Just my spots to my eyes. You're gonna give me something before I... <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. You know what? All this yeah. fake ass. Right. You right. don't it's know all no crystals when you fake. see your mother... I would do and say exactly the same thing. I mean, this girl was really pulling out her boob, thinking she would attract Seth. It's just a ton of meat. Number eight, dirty couch. A man walks in to check out some new stuff for his home. Turns out he just moved here with his wife. He sees a couch from afar. Let's check out if they make a deal. You gonna clean all that up before I buy it? That's why it's so inexpensive, right? Really? I gotta tell you, man, it's nasty. Okay, why is it so, so freaking dirty, man? Because it's used. That's why it's 397 dollars Really? Well, I only got 200 bucks. So how about you simply don't buy it? You seriously think with your ass or you're just here to cause a scene for some odd freaking reason? Are you that bored back home? This is not the way we operate in New Jersey. What kind of operation you guys going on, man? I bet you you're the mother has been sitting on here farting. This was actually my couch. We had a reupholster and I gave it to Ashley. Is that right? Yeah. Is that your daughter? That's my daughter. She must be nasty too. Now what the actual hell is wrong with this asshole? You're not coming in the store, disrespecting the owner and especially his daughter. You sure are not a man. I don't know how the hell y'all do it in New Jersey, but Detroit, come to man's house, disrespecting him. You don't jump on the furniture. You don't insult his daughter. You don't insult his seven foot, 400 pound bodyguard. Where'd he go? I think he went back to New Jersey, sir. Byron spoke the truth, and nothing but the whole truth. This man really needed to be kicked out of the way he was. The humiliation was on point. Number nine, lucky day. This woman and her mother decided to try their luck with a slot machine that is showcased in a pawn shop. Logically speaking, you win nothing, but they won't believe you. Well, you gotta pull this. Wait, wait. Earth 
is shaking. Ground is moving like. Yes! I wonder how much that is. You got nothing. It's for sale. They really seem to think so, Seth. I just know for a goddamn reason that if you don't help them out, they will literally start up a fight. So good luck. I don't know what the hell you're thinking. You really think I'm about to pay you money? This is a toy. That's a toy. It's a toy. This is what here is for the customers to you. Oh, you tell me where it says in English anything that you want, anything. You want to talk to the manager? You are. You are. They're on such a hot streak, they need to go down the casino and try their luck there. That was a big girl indeed. I mean, she's literally double Byron's size for God's sake, and for a girl, that's one hell of a high score. You know we won. It says the biggest day we won. You won. You won. You got the grand well, prize. Well, where's the money? There's no money. And I know you got it up in here. There's no money. Y'all out nice of day. order up in here. Out of order. Thank you. See you later, miss. Where, where did my daughter go? I don't know. Can't Come miss her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out of order. That girl might have been bigger than me. Out of order. I just like the way she said that, lol. Anyway, all I gotta say is, the best of luck with this car, because I know it won't survive at all. Number 10. Pacifier Pawn. A stupid woman named BB just walks into pawn some shit, but the irony is that she has a pacifier stuck up her mouth. BB indeed. Focus. <laughs> so how can I help you? I'm just making, you know, my TV and my ring, trying to at least walk out with 800. Are you married? I'm good. That mean you're married? I'm good. My man Seth was heavily disgusted by the whole thing standing in front of him. I mean, I am disgusted from afar. I'm just praying he doesn't fall for her trap. I said what you want. I know, I said I'm good. You need a loan or you want to sell it? Loan. About 300 bucks. Not for both. Total price. You can't go higher? No. <laughs> What a freaking chuck. She really does think it's beneficial for her to flirt, but her way of flirting really is super weird. I mean, a pacifier? You think Seth is a bio? Would you suck on my pacifier for 20 bucks? I know you want to. I think you're into it. Yeah, you. Did he actually just stick this up his mouth? It's freaking disgusting as hell, and especially since this weird ass baby girl used it. Number 11, fake teeth. This woman is furious because she believes the TV in the front is hers. Let's get this party started, honey. This is not yours for sure. Why am I out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there, right, hit here, it. take it? Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. That's bull Hold on. Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. What the hell? For the sake of God, these teeth came out of nowhere. I'm really pissed off. Go after them, you old hag. This is really freaking disgusting. I can't understand. Let's get my right now, Mr. American Long and Jewelry. I shouldn't put that in my panty and walk out. Okay, why don't you go grab your teeth? Why don't you go in the line over there and they'll take care of you? How does that? Okay, let me get back on telling you. Put your teeth back in. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she just added them. It was that shit that finally got to me. Whoa, that woman is really, really disgusting. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Well, I'll go get my. There we go. Where did they come? Are you? All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Boys, Hook, I'm on Hook right now. Hey, Hook, you got it. That's your ass. Stop saying. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise love you know. And that's that. She really got creative with this one. So Emma, tell her, may the birds of paradise replace your teeth, cause you need some around here. Number twelve, bowling balls. A confident girl entered carrying three bowling balls. But if she continues to be this loud, she won't be all that lucky. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm going to be even better, baby. I got three bowling balls for you. They hot and ready. And this is my thing. And I'm going to come through. And when I let that bitch go, I boom. Whoop, Leslie will definitely whoop your ass. To prove to him that he doesn't care about anything, you were going to break the freaking counter. I ain't going nowhere. You want me to throw these motherfuckers right out the front door? If you throw them bitches out the door, you gonna follow right behind. Sit here, listen. You dropped your ear. I don't give a damn. You can have it. It's, it ain't Perfect. real. Here's your balls. It ain't real. That's the only Take thing I got to Take your balls out of here. Take every ball you have and leave. Not just these ones, baby, okay? Because you look like you have some balls talking to Leslie that way, but not for long. Ooh. There you go. What you need to do, take a deep breath, calm yourself down. Then I could have told you, we're not interested in your balls. They be on some bullshit. They don't want to do no business. Oh, shut the fuck up. Really? Fuck my motherfucking bowling balls. That's what you do. Mother who, dumbass? Mother who? Goddamn. That attitude you have pissed the hell out of everyone around you off. No wonder you only have these balls to sell. The guy wants $150 for this lawnmower. I wouldn't even sell it for $60. Yeah, not gonna happen for that piece. You mean it ain't gonna happen, dog? Can you hear? I want 150 for this I bitch right now, dog. I can hear right you, now, and dog. I'm not interested in that. Man, dog, give me my 
150 for this bitch right now, dog. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of stupidity on hardcore pawn. Number one, snatched up. A man walks in wanting to sell a watch his grandmother gave him. He's asking for some unreasonable amount, so I'm guessing he has no clue what the watch's value is. Yeah, you see these, this discoloration on the side? No. You don't see the rose color metal in there? Looks like copper? No. I see gold. Then it's not gold. Can't give me nothing. I'm sorry. Can I talk to somebody that knows what they're doing? Now this man is hella ballsy saying that in Leslie's face, Les was being very transparent and nice with this guy, but the guy showed nothing but disrespect, and he's about to get a taste of that. How about your chain? You wanna pawn me your chain? This is a bunch of bull****, man. I wanna pawn my watch that's worth $500. Let me tell you, have you talked to my jeweler? Yes, sir. Here you go. Now this guy's been in the jewelry business all of his life. He wants a $500 loan on a watch. What can you do with it? Does this bozo know what he's doing? Well, I wouldn't really call him names. We're not calling you any names. Dude, what does you want for this watch? Did he just call Byron a bozo? Yep, I told you he's gonna get a taste of his own medicine. Cause calling Leslie a bozo would have been easier for you, man. But Byron, he will show you hell. Give me my mother man. Come over here and pick this bitch up! Or what? It's a piece of you. Get him here. Let's go, my man. Have a good, have a good day, sir. You got Bitch, man. Yeah, guess the bitch won this one, all right? The bitch did win this one for sure. The way he literally dragged out the store is seriously impressive. We can see how much Byron was pissed at the man. Number two, big line. This man walks up straight to Ashley's window wanting to pawn his TV, but he didn't know that window was only for the jewelry loans. This guy does not like what's happening. Well, I mean, can can you, like, come out and get it? I, I really don't have time to wait in there. This, this line's empty. I mean... Okay, that's the equipment line. So I can't get your TV through my little tray here. Well, I don't have the time to wait in that line. I've got to get out of here. I've got things to do. No, no, this is bull****. You see that big old line? How about you go wait in that line? And take my TV from me and give me some money for it. He got outraged really quickly. This man really was all about the bullshit and the screaming. My man, hold your composure right freaking now. No need to scream at Ashley. Seriously? Yes, yes. Come Can out here like and take my TV and give me some money for it. Here, here's the TV. I need some money. First of all, I will take your TV gladly. I'm gonna give it to Byron. Never gonna walk in here. Oh, no, I'm not putting up with this. No, I just wanted to get some money for my TV. That's all I want. Damn it! Yeah, little boy. This is life. You don't always get your way, okay? This should be a lesson to your bossy ass. And make sure if you come in next time, be pretty nice with the people that are working. Yay! Okay. I mean, look at the line. The line is huge. Seth's new system is causing problems. But I gave him control while I recovered. I have to give him some slack. Oh, and yeah. What the hell is this system, Seth? Honestly, I blame Leslie for just always listening to Seth and undermining everything Ashley tells him. Ugh. Number three, singing job. A man walks in asking for a job, but he has to fill in an application, but he really is hesitating to do so, but he suddenly bursts into doing something unexpected. Check this out. How, how you are doing you? Today? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm I need, Karen. I need a job, Karen. Okay, well we have a whole process of doing that. You have to fill out an application. I don't yeah. have time to fill out an application, Karen. Well, I can't just hire you on the Spot. American jewelry alone. Pretty talented. Can I get a job today? Today? Can I get a job? Shoo the hell up for God's sake. What the hell is seriously wrong with you, my man? He bursts into singing all of a sudden as if this is some singing job application. But I'm not shouting at you. Have you tried Jesus? I don't think I really have anything for you. What you walking up on me for, big man? The Lord, oh, lay the hands. Lord told me to lay hands on somebody. Lay I don't hands, know though. who it's going to no, be. Come on. Come on. Let's get on the body. Baby. They ain't gonna give you a job either, bro. All right, hit it one more time. Byron hit the nail on with that trick, not gonna lie. That was smart as hell for him to tell that dumbass that Jesus told him to lay his hands on him. He's out for good. Try one more time, bro. You good. No. You almost there, bro. Carry. I work for every day. I know. Come on. Listen. From here, bro. From here. Hit it. Yeah. You have a great day. Hey, man. Amen, hey, brother. All right, now. Oh, we got to witness some vocals, everyone. I really like Byron's voice. Yeah, who am I? Even kidding. This man seriously has amazing talent, but he's way too petty for a job. Number four, crazy mom. A woman and her son walk in to buy a ring for herself since today is her birthday. But her son came with her along with some fire because he seriously is causing some shit. My name's Sharonda. Sharonda, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. How you doing, Deontay? Deontay, nice to meet you. That's my son. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'm looking yeah, for birthday. me a gift. 500. 
That's a lot. That wouldn't even cost that much at a jury, regular jury store. Hey, I like No, it. we're not regular jury store. It's actually cheaper than you'd get it anywhere else. Shut up. Let me see this piece then. Nice reply, Mom. Okay, I get this is some kind of advice, since this is his mom and so on. But, like, that's not the right way to put it, my man. Just check out what goes on next. How much is this one? 800. 800? Listen, Here's you need to shut up before I knock you the for real. Stop. But still. I mean, you're not, you know, you're not the bias for birthday, right? right? It's my birthday. Still, it's my she money. don't need to be spending that much money in a pawn shop, dude. But wait, so you spent 500 on those earrings? Yeah. They're CZs. <laughs> Bull Oop. The mom really seems to be done with her son's shit. I mean, she's right. Just freaking leave her be for once. And yes, these earrings look fake. So at least she's buying something real. That's bull You don't talk to me like that. All right. I'm your mama. You don't talk to me like that. I don't give a Don't worry. You don't be out in public what, acting man, like argue. you stupid. Don't Whatever. Who the you talking to? And the girl can throw a fast pitch. She was hot. Who the f is you talking to, boo? You don't talk to me like that. This mother was severely whooping her son's ass. She got her flip-flops all up in that boy's face as if it's a game she has always played. Proud of her for standing up for herself. Number five, sold ring. A woman enters and asks to take her ring off. There was a problem, though. She never made the payment that was required of her to recover it. Check this out, please. You lost the ring to Pine. No, I, no, I didn't. Yes, ma'am. It's a $6,000 ring. That's my grandmother's ring. I brought it in here last month. You said I had to pay the interest on it. I'm coming to get it today. You didn't bring it last month. You brought it four months ago. It's gone, ma'am. It is imperative that Nikki finds a management for this bitch, since they won't be hanging around for very long. So Nikki needs to take action as soon as possible to avoid being embroiled. We loaned this woman money on a ring, and she never came and made her payments. I'm sorry, but when that happens, we need to sell your item so that we can get our money back. That's the way this business works. And it's a three You got me up. Well, no, you got yourself up. No, you got me up. And why am I talking to you behind this glass? Your ass normally out here. I suppose the plan was unsuccessful, but conversing with Leslie in that manner, this woman is daring and fearless for sure. God damn. I wish you luck in this battle. You better be lucky. I can't beat your mother ass. Get that your let me mother go. I'm going back in there to get my grandma ring. I'm here and you got my mother Stop, I've been here for a while, had to pick out a lot of folks out the pie shop, but this is the first time I really had kicked somebody out the pie shop. She really got kicked out of the store. Usually everyone gets kicked out, but in her case, it was very much literal. Is it deserved? Of course, it is. Did you see her? Number six, aspiring singer. Simply walking into the store, a wannabe singer puts an unknown microphone into an unknown radio and starts barking like a horse. Hey y'all, I'm an aspiring Why you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. <laughs> Not only that, but the only place you could work as a singer is the zoo, where I highly doubt you'll succeed since I envision you getting attacked by a variety of animals. Ava. I wanna sing a song. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be a star. You're gonna be something, alright? I ain't right. even gonna give you a shout out. No. Are you just been buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money. I need. Good. Show's over. Here's a tip. Stop singing. Is she really waiting for a gratuity? You are in a real store, girl. A business that is purely focused on selling stuff, and this entire thing is taking place on a stinking private property. Oh. Hater, 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 hater. Do a hater, hater. Please, please. No, 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 no. Pull off. Won't to. Man. Come back here. Won't to. That's enough. Singing will last me a lifetime. The radio's gonna be silent on the way home. I think this woman appears to be high on cocaine. It seems incomprehensible that someone would commit such horrible acts in public just to look silly and unattractive. Number seven, lawnmower pawn. A man is attempting to sell a lawnmower, but he has a certain price in mind that is nothing close to what makes sense. Just keep an eye on what's gonna happen. I'm Seth. What's up, man? I'm trying to get 150, dog. Yeah? What's hanging off the side? Don't worry about what's hanging off the side, man. Is that a phone cord? What do you mean, dog? What is that? The flashlight. The flashlight? No flashlight. Why is it hooked up to your lawnmower? Man, f all that, dog. On the side, my boyfriend has a vehicle vacuum cleaner hanging. Undoubtedly, this lawnmower is the whole deal. Two in one for everybody. Two in one. The guy wants $150 for this lawnmower. I wouldn't even sell it for $60. Yeah, it's not gonna happen for that piece. What do you mean it ain't gonna happen, dog? Can you hear? I want 150 for this I bitch can hear right you, now, and dog. I'm not interested. I'm gonna blow this bitch up, dog. Awesome what? After I say that, I'll blow your entire existence apart. How dare you intimidate everyone in this building because you aren't getting your wish. You also don't boop, dog. My suggestion is put this bitch in your car and all that. You're my 150 here, dog. We're not giving you 
Do you understand English? Oh, William. Yeah. William? Yeah, well, yeah. Go. You. Go. 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 Oh. I adore how he asserts that it is already his money. For such stuff, my man will be beaten mercilessly. Aimed at Seth? Thank heavens we didn't see him getting kicked in the behind. Number 8. Insane customer. In the midst of the store, this woman is talking casually and even shouting into her phone without any apparent purpose. Watch her as she makes a fool of herself. No, I'm in the store and some lady walking up you on me like, man. hold on, hey, lady, miss, this is our don't follow me, do not follow me. Hold on, miss, miss, get somebody to help me, please. What do you need help with? I'm gonna need some help with my rings right here. Can you take out your rings? Wait, you just walking up on me, somebody, can you see my rings? I don't even know who you is. Can so somebody my, else help No, me? I can help you. Oh my God, this woman even has the audacity to call Ashley rude, which irritates Ashley greatly. Why the heck are people these days? Or what? Can somebody else help me because you Ma'am, like, I can what? help you walk out the door. Now, can somebody help me other than you? All right, that. Ma'am? Don't follow me no more. Amazing. Initially, this was precisely what we had hoped for. You should go outside right away if you're a disruptive ass. If not, it is completed for you. Completed. And this is how I'm getting treated? y'all. I told you I could... y'all. I don't know who the hell this lady was mad at. you. Was she mad at the lady on the phone? y'all. Careful of the cars, because I wouldn't want them to hit you. Yeah, okay, I bet you better be careful. I I'm gonna be the one that's hitting you. What? What? Ashley is insane, and threatening her is even more foolish than whatever the heck she is doing inside. That mother trucker, what the heck? Number 9. Losing cool. Let's see whether the woman who approaches Ashley with a nearly $1-$100 layaway balance, who hasn't made any payments in over two months, pays now. This lady comes up to me with over an $1,100 layaway balance. She hasn't paid in over two months. She wants to pay a dollar, I said oh, no. Oh, you want to pay a dollar? Uh, that's right! Give her her ticket. That's right! She can't I pay. I sure do! Well, you know, if you put anything in layaway, you have to put more money down. But, okay, I understand that. I'm not old. I'm not a so fool. So you even, well, if you're not a fool, why would you even come in and offer a dollar? AOP. Less really put her in her place. This man just understands how to deal with such idiots. She is a complete moron. I swear. A penny? What okay. well, school you graduate from, boo? I gotta be at work. Time is ticking. Time is so money. So why don't you come back when you have time? I live way in my land. I'm not coming back. Poor business. I done gave y'all so much money, and then this is how I get treated. Man, you're past that's fine. So we still dollars. have the you item. Know look down on little people because you so big and mighty. Ma'am, I'm not you looking down look at you. Down there was no reason for her to talk to me such a demeaning manner. Les didn't look down on you. In fact, it's likely that he didn't even glance at you at all. However, this is what you get when you attempt to walk in looking clever and play the business owners like fools. I sat there and I took her <laughs> till I couldn't take her anymore. And I hope you have fun with your dog and help burn with you when you burn. You. It takes a lot for my dad to get upset. This lady took it to a whole new level. She crossed the line. She talks about when I die that I'm gonna rot in hell. I'm not gonna allow anybody to abuse me like that. With less, this woman truly did go too far. However, what was the purpose of that? For that reason, why would you desire damnation on any human being? Revolting. Number 10. Miss Manners. This lady wants her earrings back after selling them. Let's now discuss about a bipolar person, okay? Now check out this nonsense. I'm doing good. I just had sold some earrings for hundred dollars uh -huh. and I ain't, I'm not feeling that I want the want my earrings back. Once I give you the ticket, we have to hold them for two weeks for the police. And nobody never told me that. That's what the law. Mean? See, by law, once you put your fingerprint down, you sold us the item. Give me my earrings back right now. Here's the slip. Here's the money. What else do you need? You're making fun of yourself. Therefore, we urge you to stop talking so loudly. Pick up some manners and just don't sell anything if you're not sure about it. And get my earrings. That's you know, I'm trying to keep my composure and I treat you. I don't give a about you. Keep I'm me trying to treat you like a lady, right but before it's over, God, that lady up. is going to go by the wayside give me just my as your ass is going to go out of my give store. Give me my earrings. Now what? I adore the way he left so coolly, leaving her wondering whether Les would come down to her level and cause a stir. Hun, not here. Man, hey, look, I ain't going no motherfucking way until I get my mother earrings like I said. The punk ass bitch. Thank you very much. Hey, you bitch, you bitch. Thank you, Miss Decency. <laughs> Yo, bitch ass. Watch your bitch. hands. Punk ass bitch. I got his bitch. Have a good day. For show sure it. Now you don't have to go home and work out. Oh, yeah. You did bicep curls. <laughs> I was getting extremely tired of this woman. She does have a wonderfully gratifying way of bitching, though. Having Byron retrieve her in that manner was the pinnacle of my day. Number 11. Disrespecting Ashley. As he strolls through the store, a man enters and appears to notice something. He refers to it as a sex table, apparently. But he got horned up on the wrong person. Look at this. Damn, ain't this mother Hey, somebody gonna help me out with this? What kind of table is this over here? Come on, Ashley, man. That's my girl. Yeah, I want Ashley, man. That's my bitch. 
That's who I've been screaming for. Come here. Get off the bed. Get kicked in the face. This man has to stop talking to Ashley immediately before things get out of hand, and he leaves the store in the most embarrassing way imaginable. It's pretty brave of him to believe that he can talk to her like that. He let me, I'll be slapping that ass. He ain't gonna I do can't get over how Look, you... I ain't even looking at this don't man. I, I, you don't f you're talking to, man, to man, you, Take my f ass out of here, man. Push back my daughter in my jacket. Get the f out of here. Yeah, I know you are. Get your hands off Really? Time to get out of her ass, man. I'll tear that f up, boy. Tear. How are you, Mama Trucker? Well, you had better be aware of your boundaries because Les won't put up with you at all. You are truly showing his freaking daughter contempt. Oh, my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand that? Oh, you understand man. that? Yeah, man. You understand yeah, that? Got... Don't f with my yeah, kid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Don't f with sorry. my kid. I'm sorry, Les. I'm sorry, man. Get this f off proper. What's going on outside? out there? Do not go out there. I'd strangle that mother and you would too. Dude, do you really think this is funny? Do you degrade a man's daughter? How dare you? Not everyone's daughter. He also lacks self-respect. I am going to destroy this man. Number 12. Online Romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, I'm here today uh, to see if you would be interested in buying some jewelry. Let me see what you got. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. Um, my fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive, so. Are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. I'm fond of the guy. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time and we knew very quickly and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice, 10 days each time. 20 days? And now you want her to be your wife? Oh, huh. Avoid mining. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's eerie. How about 525? How about 450? You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass them. I can split it with you. 475. You got a deal. Got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm going to go home and buy the ticket to bring Elena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes, I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea. Especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo. But be sure you do it somewhere else. That, you're getting what? Pissed why, off. Why do I have to have a man. little girl in front of me and not a man? There's a man. You know? There's a man. Turn yeah, around. I doubt it. There's a man. I doubt it. Turn around. You haven't got any men in here. Come on. Have a nice day, sir. Oh, I'm in. Well, American jewelry and long sucks. Looking like Nick Nolte after hanging out with Charlie Sheen for three nights. Go on somewhere, man. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video, full of clueless people on Hardcore Pawn. Let's hop into it. Number 1. Get Chad. A woman walks in screaming non-stop searching for a guy named Chad, and apparently, he works in the store. If he does, he's fired, for sure. Mm -hmm. And so what's this regarding? Um, if he's my boyfriend and he's not paying child support, You're his girlfriend? Fire. Yes, I need him. I need some money, so he need to come out here. I'm Chad's boss. Okay, well, so... I need him. Boss. The last thing I need is more employee drama. You're making your baby look bad, honey. So get your acts together or you will be paying the price for sure. Good luck. That's not him. Y'all playing games with me now? That's Chad. No, that's not. Then I don't know. I know who I sleep with. What? This lady is out of her mind. I have a store full of people. There's a long line. This woman keeps getting louder and louder and louder. I really think you should, because I don't think there's ever going back from this shit, to be honest. And no, honey, we are definitely not testing your intelligence. We know there's none. He ain't out here. Y'all gonna send me off that? Over, over there. Over he there, ain't out side. here. He is over there. He just went over there on break. He did. Excuse he was me. looking for you. You ain't about to keep playing with me. On the other side of that car. You gonna show Where me? You Ch Chad, wait a minute, Chad. What about the kids, Chad? Chad, don't, don't run. Man, I'm about to go hamburger on y'all fools, for real. Rumor has it that she kept on walking for centuries and centuries and never found where Chad is. I just hope she would rest and get over it one day. Nice play, Seth. Number two, TV return. A guy walks in straight to the window wanting to get his TV back, but apparently there's an issue and he's way too late now. Check this out. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad we're here. All right. I'm gonna redeem this. Okay, actually, this was pulled. Pardon me? It was due on the second. 
No, no, I'm here to pay it right now. I know. Your loan is only for 90 days, so you see it was due on the second. You can actually see a manager. Sure. Talk. I got my ticket there. I wanted to get my TV back. If you could help me out with this, I'd really appreciate it. You can see if it's on the showroom floor, and now I can try to make you a deal to buy it back. It's not been that long. About a month overdue. Look, lady, what kind of deal are you talking about? If it's out there, then we can work from there. When he asked what kind of deal Ashley is talking about, I couldn't but think that this dumbass wanted something sexual with her. This guy is shameless. Yeah, I'm I, getting a little aggravated. I'm sorry you're I getting... Mean, I'm ready to, you know... It's you're just, ready to what? You just get pissed off. All right, I'm not going to sit here and argue through the glass all day. We don't have to argue through the glass, do we? No. Not at all. No. You don't have to, Ashley. So go outside and show him what a real argument is, honey. Because this guy is simply out of his mind. That, you're getting what? Pissed why, off? Why do I have to have a little girl in front of me and not a man? There's a man. Yeah. There's a man. Turn yeah, around. I doubt it. There's a man. I doubt it. Turn around. I don't got any men in here. Really? There's two of them. Yeah. Now what you gonna do, buddy? <laughs> what are you yeah, talking about? Buddy. What you now gonna what do? You gonna do? Like, uh, 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 uh. You sound just like him. I'll put a big ass flyer in the street. I'll make up signs. Oh, American Jewelry and Long sucks. Looking like Nick Nolte after hanging out with Charlie Sheen for three nights. No, the store doesn't suck. You suck. I just love how he was dragged out of the store. It was very much deserved. Bye. Number three, choke chicken. The chicken guy eating his own chickens walks into the place and wants to get some watches. But my man is all greasy because of all the chicken. You hungry? No, I'm not. That this, I got this for free at work there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, do you? Yeah. Let me show you. Feel free to lay your chicken on the counter. All right, and look, this is what I do. I say I got chicken and finger sucking, come for a plucking. <laughs> <laughs> As much as I'm disgusted for putting all that chicken on the counter with no care in the whole world, just gotta admit that this was one hell of a good joke. I gave you 1,200 pieces of chicken. Uh, 1,200 pieces of chicken? That's, That's like chicken for oh, Byron for like a day. I don't right, want look, your look. chicken. You want it? Me? I didn't call you anything. Oh, I thought you wanted to fight. Uh, not yet. Seems like Seth is getting really pissed. My man really should be knowing the difference between a chicken and a human because he seems to have mixed both. Oh, talk the chicken. He's about to. All right, look, look, look. Make a deal. Deal. Byron, I thought the Chicken? You're touching chicken? Come on, man, let's go. And you know what? You ain't gotta touch me. I fly out this motherfucker. Fly out. Fly out this motherfucker. Right. Turns out when the chicken crossed the road, he went to a pawn shop, made a scene, got kicked out. There you go. I told all of y'all, he is mixing up both species together. But he really doesn't understand them that much. Because chickens don't fly dumbass. Number four, counterfeit ticket two. Women walk into the store, straight up to the window, and give Nikki a ticket, and they want back a ring or something. To be honest, I have no clue. This isn't our ticket. What do you mean it's not your ticket? It say American Jury right there at the top. The f you looking at it all stupid, folk, bitch? You can read, right? Ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, bitch, I want none of this. Oh, come on, bitch, come the f from behind this glass so I can whoop your ass. I've had enough people. With me today, this stops now. These two women are actually getting on my nerves way too much. Freaking treat Nikki like the human being she actually is, for God's sake. Uh huh. Okay. I need to make sure it's here then. It's not our ticket. What you mean it ain't your ticket? It say American Jewelry. And it may say that. Well, so, what the is the issue? The issue is this is a counterfeit ticket. Accept the truth, honey. Just accept it and do your walk of shame because, again, this is a counterfeit ticket. Repeat it with me common. Counterfeit ticket. Bet you y'all gonna pay me for this $10,000 ring. Of course we are. I will be back with my attorney. And I'll be more than happy to explain it to them. When they come back with their lawyer, I'll be happy to show them exactly how I know it's a bull ticket. Back with the attorney? I see you. I see you. If you can afford an attorney, then why the hell are you sad on such a ticket? For God's sake, just get on with your life. Number five, shouting contest. A woman walks up to the window claiming she lost her ticket or left it here so she doesn't have it and she wants it in now. Let's check it out. Do you have an ID on you? I don't see you in the system. How are you gonna tell me when I left my ticket on the counter? I came here and I pawned the TV. It's not I can on here. only tell you what it says in this computer system. I've seen the scam before. It never works. Did she just start shouting for no goddamn reason? Well, Seth, if you've actually seen that scam before, you have to handle it now or it will come back and smack you in the ass. Hey, feel the my ticket at. Have a nice day, no, man. And they know how much days. I'm gonna go home with my ticket. No, you're not. I am. I'll call somebody else every to the window. Somebody else coming to the window. Hey. Call the blind on your little bitty ass. Call him. Call somebody else. You, you, you already did. Listen, I want my ticket. That was one hell of a smooth turn, as if she's about to get a taste of this fine-ass looking man. But wait a sec, wasn't she acting like a gorilla a couple seconds ago? Okay, all right, here you go. You do, Come on, baby, here we all go. All you gotta do is say you want it on it. <laughs> is that I'm paying it for a ticket. Wow. But you want my number and all that, right? That's what you want? You want all that? Huh? Whatever. Hey, baby girl. 
for good. No, actually WTF. She's starting on old Byron right there. She got all horned up now because she saw him. I can't blame her though. Um, move on. Number six, Lee sister. A woman walks in in the middle of the summer with surprisingly a fur coat and God knows how many wigs, but forget all that and find out who she really is. Boy. I see you sweating. Yeah. It must be yeah. hot outside. No, I was doing karate outside. You were doing karate? In judo. I'm Bruce Lee's sister. Can you show me a move? <laughs> These weren't moves. That was more like she was preparing some dark magic spell or potion. I mean, thinking about it, she looks like a witch, but definitely not like Bruce Lee. Here's a person that must not be all there. Check it out. Check, 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 check. A duck. Woo! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. She went from doing some karate shit into barking, punching herself in the stomach, and going over all the animal sounds you can even think of. Now, actually, WTF. How much do you really want for the coat? 50000 How about a $100 loan? Uh -huh. Give me a $100 loan. Fine. Not a problem. Step right over here and we'll take care of you. Okay. Give my wig back. There you go. Sometimes people come into the store and act like a fool just to get attention. <laughs> Which one is she, though? I mean, we can all see that it is very possible for her to actually be both crazy or seeking attention but this woman is like no other to be honest number seven jewelry sale a woman wants to pawn some jewelry but it gets so surprising seeing where the hell this jewelry was coming from i mean how can you be that stupid i don't know i was coming in today because i was trying to uh, pawn some jewelry okay you got like some pliers or something pliers yeah i need to get this off you know what that's all right i got it so i was wondering if i could pawn this i was trying to get like a hundred dollars for it okay before we actually get into it, this woman obviously has a couple of cells missing in that big head of hers. Does she actually want to pawn this? I wouldn't buy it. No, actually, it's real silver. I'm trying to get $100 for this. I mean, is you gonna give it to me or what? Or can I talk to somebody else? No, you can talk to me. Because I see you trying to be funny. I'm not laughing. Are you laughing? You were just laugh. Now you're making an ugly face. It ain't, it ain't Halloween no more. Oh, okay. It really ain't Halloween, you're right for saying that. But why the hell do you actually look this stupid and creepy? That's a creepy clown face right there. So... You're pissing me off. You this close to getting your ass whooped. Really? Yeah. You're this close don't to getting don't, your don't touch ass kicked out of me. my store. Don't touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. Bye! The hair got that Ebola too, right? That's that Ebola weave, ain't it? Don't worry about it. God forbid, even if your lips were spotless, nobody would merely take it and sell it at once. It's abhorrent. However, menacing Ashley, your lesson was learned. Num number nine, Miss Manners. This lady wants her earrings back after selling them. Let's now discuss about a bipolar person, okay? Now check out this nonsense. I'm doing good. I just had sold some earrings for $100, uh -huh. and I ain't, I'm not feeling that I want, the, want my earrings back. Once I give you the ticket, we have to hold them for two weeks for the police. Nobody never told me that. That's what the law. Mean? See, by law, once you put your fingerprint down, you sold us the item. Give me my earrings back right now. Here's the slip. Here's the money. What else do you need? You're making fun of yourself. Therefore, we urge you to stop talking so loudly. Pick up some manners and just don't sell anything if you're not sure about it. And get my earrings. That's you know, I'm trying to keep my composure and treat I don't give you. A f about you. Keep I'm me trying to treat you like a lady. Right but before it's over, God, that lady is gonna go by the wayside. Give me just my as your ass is gonna go out of my give store. Give me my earrings. Now what? I adore the way he left so coolly, leaving her wondering whether Les would come down to her level and cause a stir. Hun, not here. Man, hey, look, I ain't going no motherfucking way until I get my motherfucking earrings like a f said. The f punk ass bitch. Thank you very much. Hey, you bitch, bitch. Thank you, Miss Decency. <laughs> Yo, bitch ass. Watch your hands. Punk ass bitch. I got his bitch. Have a good day. For show sure that. Now you don't have to go home and work out. Oh, yeah. You did bicep curls. <laughs> I was getting extremely tired of this woman. She does have a wonderfully gratifying way of bitching, though. Having Byron retrieve her in that manner was the pinnacle of my day. Number 10, raw chicken. This man simply walked in and began yelling and causing me headaches right immediately. There's no freaking reason why he has a raw chicken. All I feel is disdain. Do you see a raw chicken in here? Can I eat that? No. OK, then. This don't work. I'm sad. How are I you? just paid fifty dollars. I need my money. Where's your receipt? I don't have. Okay, so we can all agree that this dude is just out of his goddamn mind, right? Like, how the hell did he come up with that bullshit just now? For real. What up, dog? 
Bro, where the owner at, man? You're I don't know why I'm talking to you, man. Where the owner? I'm gonna get my mother money, bro. No, you're not. Yes, treat them how they treat you. That, my man, is some clever shit. It is, in fact. But the poor guy is blind to what's about to happen to him. This is gonna get messy. Man. And now you can have that and I'm about to still go barbecue and eat good. What he was thinking, refund. What I was thinking, lunch. Cock a doo do, mother That's ridiculous. Who the hell has gloves in their pockets these days? That right there is some fresh crap. Really though, he entered, made a ruckus, and stole only the uncooked chicken. Ah, smart number 11, human hair. In all honesty, that wasn't the real issue at all. But this one is very sure she can sell some hair in the fur area. This lady is the issue, not her. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese bohemian. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. Bohemian. Uh -huh. bohemian. And I Chinese paid $1,000 for it. I wanted 800 but um, the lowest I will go is 300 Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. It's you the have kind we have Beyonce wear. Arizona, I'm pretty sure that I've been this close to this freaking wig before. I mean, where in the name of Satan did this woman acquire this ridiculous notion? Stupid, indeed. For you too, I could brush it too, and you could call me. You know, it's a lot of things you can do with it. It's good hair. It's it's very beautiful. You wanna see me put it on for you again? Sure. Yeah, see how I'm on? I'm watch change. Bam! Hold the first name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. Ope, that gaze said it all. She was clearly offended. After all, Leslie called her smelly and filthy in a variety of ways, and he would have none of it anymore. Don't wipe down everything. But I just can't take it. Okay, you, you can right? wipe down the hair. Come There's back. Come, Come back on, when you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? I need you. Is this a salon? Is this a salon in here? Yeah, it's a blow. He's gonna. He's blowing it to you right there. He's gonna show it to you. Right on. Come on. You can twerk it all the way up. How daring of Leslie to believe she is a drag queen. She proves that she is a true woman, my guy, by twerking as though it validates her assertion. I'm glad she went to the parking lot of the salon. Number 12, Foxy Lady. This woman walks in hoping to turn a tidy profit on the coat she's wearing. It's not going to work, my dear. Still, she came in silently and departed enraged. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm Shannon. Hi, Shannon. How much would you give me for this? How much you want? At least a thousand. It's very pretty. So how much would you give me? I'll give you a hundred. Now, Les, it was a big mistake. The mistake you just made might end up costing you your life, as this woman's sassiness has the potential to murder us all. Feel it. Feel how good this it feels. Is. This a good ass mink coat. Okay. You got me up. Mm -mm. It's Fox. This is a rabbit, a bird, whatever the I want it to be. What the hell does she want it to be? A bird or a rabbit? Yes, in your dreams, my love. In your luxurious images. Make a hundred dollar bill. You better call security up in this bitch. Security? How you doing? You my security too? There you go. Oh, y'all mother don't know who y'all with up in here. Mother mean coat. It's fuck. It's a mink, baby. You see a lot of strange things at American jewelry. She really, truly slipped into that trap. You know, from being all poised and confident to being bashful and shouting and spreading bullshit, she changed. I might he want to take these golf clubs because they spoil. Because and they're what? Spoiling. I guess that's what they call them. This is Spoiling? Yeah, man. What does that mean? How much did you want for them? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. Hello? Let me see a manager. You're that don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of problematic people on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, mad woman. A woman walks in all mad because she picked out a ring and put the money back, but she wants to put it in layaway and get her money back, which does not work. I want my money back. I don't want no in-store credit. Get your receipt? Yes, I got my damn receipt. This right here. Okay. So you want a cash refund, you said? Yes, I did. Okay. It says Do no it cash. I'm sorry, but it's on your receipt. If you put money down on a layaway, we don't do refunds, we just store credit. First of all, I'm so thankful that she has a receipt because this would be way more tiring to explain to her very little mind. I don't want to make no payments. This is a bull. I just want my refund. Can I get my damn refund? I can get loud just like you and make a scene if you want. Or you can act like a lady. Right on, Ashley. This woman just became way too loud for my ears. And at this point, they would bleed because of all that shouting. Get your hands off me! Get your hands off me! I want to be in this place anyway. I get my later. If you want me to help you out, you need to come back 
at a different day, a different time, so we can handle business. Poor little Ashley. This woman got all up in her face for no freaking reason, as if she owns the store and we didn't know. Well, thank God she's out of here for good. Number two, broken TV. A woman walks in with a fully cracked TV and she's claiming that she bought it yesterday as it is now, as if they will sell her a broken one and she would accept it. Did you drop it? No, I did not drop it. Bought it with a crack on it like that? Yes, I did. I don't know if you bought it from us. It don't look familiar to you? It looks like a TV, so yeah, in that sense, it looks familiar, but... And it took my DVD. You not only owe me $50, but you owe me for my DVD. Oh, that's hella bold for sure. You better watch what the hell you're saying, honey. We all know you're just lying to get yourself some extra cash. Nice try. Do I need to get loud? No. Why not? Really? I don't, I don't need your help on this one. Thank you. Mom. Who the hell do you think you are looking me up and down? Um, Seth, I really think you should chill. Like, why the hell would you talk to Ashley like that? The hell is wrong with you. She's here to save your ass. I'm gonna get the best service in the world. There you oh, go. Are you gonna put it on the ground? There you go. That was rude. Huh? What you do that for? You. Unreal. Makes no sense. Anybody wanna buy a TV? You wanna see me? Go home. Oh, damn. She's like walking her dog just now. Who would drag a TV behind them? Like that, this just shows how much of an idiot you are. Number three, golf clubs. A man comes in angrily confused because a worker would not want to actually take these golf clubs. So he went to the manager to see what he could do. Good luck, Les. How much did you want for him? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello? Hello? Let me see a manager. You're that don't, don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. This is Joe, the manager. Who, him? Get out of here. So y'all playing games. I just want to see a manager. That's it. And here I was thinking this man really thought Les was the manager. So he came to him to see what's up with these golf clubs. And turns out he doesn't? Damn, that man is dumb. You're not going to play me like no crackhead. Follow me. Don't touch my golf clubs. Whatever. You gonna give me my money. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. You take that all he want. Do you want your 150? Oh man, you really be digging your own freaking grave at this point. This isn't even your money to begin with. Now get your ass out of the store. Look at him and look man, at him. You. 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 Give me my money. That I go. Look at how big he is and look at the size of me. But you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> He's really as angry as a beat, but he wishes he could have the power of one. I mean, come on, we all saw how intimidated he was, right? Or was it just me? Number four, tantrum throw. A man walks in wanting to sell his watch for $400. Will he be able to get this amount or not? I'm really not sure, so let us go and find out. Yeah, man, tell me the truth. What'd you really pay? Tell you the truth, man. Yeah, come on, give me, four, give me four for this watch, man. Come on, man. Come on, give me like four fifty for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick of living, I'm sick of living at the f***ing crib, man. Come on, give me four hundred for this it ain't gonna hurt. My man really needs to understand one thing. Why would you be given a certain amount that is not really how much the watch is worth? 400? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, this is a bull ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. He's on that tip, dog, man. Y'all, man. It's a bull. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick it up. Call what? Hey, what Nice one less. Put this dumbass in his rightful place, and that would be the trash. I mean, he literally knocks down a lamp. And for what? Nothing. Literally nothing. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. F y'all, man, for real. Maybe I should have given him 400 for the watch. Then maybe he would have been able to pay me for the lamp that he broke. Y'all, I'm out this bitch, dog. Ugh. Lucky was a used lamp. Right on less. But you know his broke ass won't be paying you shit right now. So it was very wise on your part to get him out of the store and stop wasting everyone's time. Number five, big argument. A woman walks in looking all pissed, but there's a mystery behind all that shit. Apparently, she had a big argument with her boyfriend, and he left right here when she needed to go back to Hawaii. I'm here with my man. I got in a big argument, and he left me, so I need to he get back home. He left you here? Oh, yeah, he left me, and I got to get back. Back where? To Hawaii. Oh, really? Where about? Honolulu. You gotta hurry up. Damn, it takes that long. Why the hell is she in such a rush? I mean, we have Ashley here just doing her freaking job, so what the heck is wrong with you rushing her all of a sudden? It's an African pearl. That's what it is. Is it actually a Tahitian pearl? No. This no. is from Africa. This is an African pearl. It might be from Africa, but these are Tahitian pearls. Pearls are Okay, black. so how much is it worth? It's going to be under 600 My ticket costs 600 That's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. What the actual hell is wrong with that woman? I mean, did she actually just call Ashley a freaking bitch? I'm actually very concerned because at this point, I'm pissed. I'm not 
just leaving no my place. Yes, you are. Oh, Honey, that, you don't have that kind of money. All right, you. If you want some help, talk to us like a human being. Who the they think they are? Them. I really have no clue why she actually came in and caused a freaking scene for no apparent reason. Someone tell her before she walks in that we genuinely don't care. Number 6. Toothless Instigator The unfortunate woman has not had a single tooth left. She was not at all fortunate with her children. They took both sets and just disposed of them by flushing them down the toilet. So, she needs to sell some junk to get money for new outfits. How are you? Got a little bit of a problem. Can't imagine why. My kids were playing around last night, broke my teeth. Now I have no teeth. They broke all your teeth? Yeah, I had dentures. So they How'd were they bring them? Um, they flushed them down the toilet. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is sell this so I can get more. They took both sets? Exactly. Had no teeth. See? Ah. Uh. I mean, did I really laugh so hard? She lost her set of teeth. I mean, I'm giggling about it even now. Her entire set of ass teeth. And you want how much? About 300. I'm not gonna be able to give you 300. Two? No. See, the issue is it has to be a certain amount of weight for me to pay you for the silver. $10 to <laughs> buy it. <laughs> no. The moment she said, this is a promise ring, I just knew it was all a lie. $10 seems like a pretty excellent deal to me. I can get you $10. I'm not, no. You know what, you're being a real bitch. My store. Congratulations. Nobody calls me a bitch in my store. I'm here. Now what? I'm here. Keep walking. Bitch, my car's this way. Thank God she lived, but she was messing with the wrong lady. Was there anything else that could be done? Well, at least she was done with her teeth. Absolutely nothing. She already looks quite awkward. Number seven, flying fur. A very kind couple walks in and begs to sell some fur coats so that the proceeds may go to their city. They would not say which organization they are thinking about. Are you guys from Detroit? We are Detroit. from Detroit. We want to get rid of these things. Basically, I need a receipt for my tax write-off. Of what about? I want to say about 15000 Do you know what we are? We're a pawn shop. I can't do that here. Um, is there a certain charity that you like to normally donate? What does it, does matter? it matter? Everyone in the tome is changing, I see. Now they are changing really bad, huh? These people need to understand that they are not going to get their way. Why are you stuttering? Do you know your job? Wait a second Wait here. a second You don't here. call me a bitch. Number you don't want my face. No. Number two. Really? Have a good day. Let's go. Did you just throw it in my face? What you gonna do? Oh my gosh, no. Doesn't this guy really have the audacity to throw it in Ashley's face? She will teach them a really hard lesson because she is not having it. Did you just throw this in my face? Yeah. You should go calm down. Did you just throw yeah. this in my you face? You turn very Hold on. Big. Are you serious right now? Hold on. The store is a bunch of crap. They should have gotten somewhere else for their tax write off because I actually know the code is worthless. Keep the coat. Inept? No. Does she honestly still call her that? But she is the bitch, for sure. You know, Ashley, that they're as worthless as these coats. Number eight, bodybuilder. It's evident that this woman, who is there to sell her jacket, also has an amazing body. A body of a builder. Observe how this transpires. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you kick his ass? You want me to? I can I pick him up. There was no question how strong this young lady was. I tried to make it a funny little situation. How do you want me to pick you I up? I don't know what you're I'd doing. I say pick him up out of here. That's fine. I mean, Ooh. pick him up. No, nay, no, hi. She should have picked up Bobby J. I don't know how I missed it, but this guy, oh my God, that aches so much. But then I brought Rick into this situation. I'm gonna break my back, I'm gonna cry later. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not giving you any money. Take your shirt off. Oh! First time in a long time that a woman put their arms around me. With what he just said, this person truly made matters worse. That was funny as well as really unpleasant. Either way, he was definitely horny. I wouldn't. How about 35? Yeah. I'll go 15 and then I'll be You want to do 15? Fine. Fine. Squeeze his hand. You. We got the jacket and we had a little fun. Thank you. Good Take luck. care. Have a good day. They've made a sensible compromise that works in every manner. Bobby J's touch was the finest of the best, as everyone knows. Number nine, choke chicken. The man who eats his own chickens wanders in and asks to buy some watches. But with all the chicken, my man is all greased up. You hungry? No, I'm not. That. This, I got this for free. I work there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, do you? Yeah. Let me show you. Feel free to lay your chicken on the counter. All right. And look, this is what I do. I say I got chicken and finger sucking. Come for a plucking. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This was a really funny prank, even if I'm outraged that all that chicken was placed carelessly on the counter. 
I'll give you 1,200 pieces of chicken. Uh, 1,200 pieces of chicken? That's, That's like chicken for Byron for like a day. I don't right, want look, your look. chicken. You want it? I didn't call you anything. Oh, I thought you wanted to fight. Um, not yet. It appears like Seth is becoming really irate. My man appears to have mingled both human and chicken, so he really ought to know the difference. Oh, talk to chicken. He's about to. All right, look, look, look. Make a deal. Deal. I right, stopped the chicken. You touching chicken? Come on, man, let's go. And you know what? He ain't got to touch me. I fly this month. Fly out. Fly out this month. Right. Turns out when the chicken crossed the road, he went to a pawn shop, made a scene, got kicked out. There you go. You are all informed. He is combining the two species in one. He doesn't really comprehend them, though, since chickens don't fly dumbass. Number 10, the bag. Almost out of nowhere, a guy enters with the largest suitcase I have ever seen. And, incidentally, it seems to have no purpose. He just carries it around nonchalantly. Big fella, can I help you? No, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. No, man. What? No, man. Stay right there. Man, this is my bag. We're going to bring a bag in our store. We're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. My man, do what you have to do, because this crap is going to blow in your face if you don't. But it looks like it will blow right in your face before you think. The next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not gonna unzip the bag and look inside? This man appeared to be carrying a million dollars in his backpack. Just face him, dude, and stop eating about the bush. Well, we will now know. Oh my Oh my God! My man! Oh my God! Was there a whole ass man in this bag or what? Why the hell do people do this? All right, I get it now. However, why wasn't he screaming for his life? Number 11, gender bender. It appears that there is an issue with the ticket agents. On her ticket is the name of a dude written by a woman. Is anything broken or was she inventing things? Ticket. I am dude's a female. ticket. A dude's ticket. I am a woman. So you need to do your job and get my right. What is the item that you have in pawn, ma'am? Rolex. On that ticket. A mother Rolex. Whose name is Anna? Somebody by the name of Daryl. Who? Daryl. Who the is Daryl? How do I know? She has a pawn ticket with someone else's name on. Maybe there was a computer glitch. I don't know. Iman says only one thing. Whatever actually transpired with this ticket, this woman is not deserving of any assistance. I want some, the right ticket. That's what, what I are you yelling about? about? We're going to take I, care I, of you. I, I can hear you. you. Okay, I'm the You're going to get the out of my gun. I own this bitch. Indeed, less. No one will go into your place and act the way they are acting, so show them who's boss. Here, you take it out of here. No, I'm not going to When you come back, I'll change it. Put your hands up, my girl. Come in calmly. We'll be more than happy to fix the prop. Come in like a ranting, raving lunatic. We'll show you the front door. Look, you should not help them at all. I warned you. What the devil is wrong with these two bastards, really? Good God. Number 12, fake Gucci. This lady is going to pawn off a phony handbag. Alternatively said, it's a phony Gucci. But her confidence tells you that it's worth a lot after all. Get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. I'm trying to set it for maybe like 150. 50 bucks. Why is it? $50, the certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained all through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan. $75 instead of the 50 For heaven's sake, why the hell is she not realizing that this trash can be pawned for a whopping $50? Listen to the facts only. If you know purses, then you know that it costs way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? Can I so talk to talk somebody to else? How much talk to your pepperoni-looking ass? I get somebody My pepperoni-looking ass. Ass pepperoni-looking? If that qualifies as roasting at all, that's a whole new way to do it. Ashley. Nevertheless, can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're not, not the owner. The owner is the other man. You you must have. How you get here? You <laughs> your way to the top. F you. Is going to eject you from the store. Believe me. Ashley, get a freak on her. Her attractive pepperoni should really know better. If not, I'll visit the business personally to impart knowledge to the person who surmounted all obstacles.